So there are a lot of things going on with regard to the future of combat. Um, yeah, I, I think the thesis that major state-on-state -state conflict is less likely in the future than it has been in the past is probably true. It doesn't make the likelihood zero. You could still see it. It would be the most catastrophic of conflicts. It would be irresponsible for the American Armed Forces not to prepare for those kinds of conflicts. But there's a broader, there's a broader trend going on globally. And it's, it's, it's best defined as the changing nature of states and the changing nature of power. Um, I used to work for Brent Scowcroft. All right, I was on uh, Bush 41's National Security Council staff, and Brent was the National Security Advisor. He wrote an article several years ago now in which he said, you know, when I was doing my thing, he was National Security Advisor, all the pieces on the board I cared about were nation states. And the way I moved them around, hard power. And Brent writes in this article, you know, neither of those sentences are as true today as they were when I was in government. What we have seen is the, the, the pushing down of power and the pushing out of from centralized core institutions, including states, out to the edges and down to groups, gangs, even individuals. And for the most part, that's a wonderful thing because you and I are so much more empowered to do things than our parents or grandparents were. But so are bad people. Right? I, I, uh, I say I'm old enough to remember when making a telephone call was so complicated that we could only entrust that task to a government or a government-controlled monopoly. Now, of course, we don't do that. We have private enterprise, and our phones are far more than they used to be. And I can go through a whole bunch of them old enough to remember, and things are a lot better. And then I end that series with, and I'm old enough to remember I never lost any sleep over a religious fanatic living in a cave in the Hindu Kush. And yet we all lose sleep. You know the things that could go bump tonight? I mean, the things that are most immediate and it could affect American life and well-being, terrorism, cyber activity, transnational crime, they're not the product of malevolent state power. Now, I get it. A state could use any of those, but you don't need a state for any of those to be a problem. That's what's changed in terms of national security. The state-on-state -state thing, still there, still need to worry about it, but the immediate problems? aren't coming at us from nation states.